in the last video we had discussed about a uh, different type of uh, relationship that we have in this video we're going to talk about the security chapter security it, it's a big chapter in salesforce and uh, we're going to get started with the data security in this video let's begin security is been divided into two different part inside salesforce one is data security or record level security what do you mean by record level security remember salesforce when i say security you as an admin is not trying to protect the data from outsiders when i say outsiders it means people who don't have access to log into the salesforce org definitely they cannot access the salesforce data so we as an admin we will have to worry about the internal users the users who have access to the same salesforce org like if you see here i have logged in as a username rajesh here like rajesh there could be multiple users has logged in suppose now security is basically between these users so people who don't have access to log in inside the salesforce system uh, that uh, they, they definitely cannot access the salesforce data and because salesforce is a product that part of security has been handled already by salesforce all right now we as an admin we just have to worry about the internal security internal security means salesforce be used by a business and that business might have let's say thousands of internal users who are actually using the salesforce system for them correct now security is basically how do you manage the data how do you manage the entire salesforce org for all these individual user among these thousand users some users are suppose sales users the sales users will not be able to see the service data i mean all the uh you know cases information and others data let's say some users are hr right hr will not be able to see the revenue data the sales data and so on so individual uh, logged in user will be having access to whatever he supposed to access inside the system so this is what we as an admin have to restrict right so uh, the security part has been divided into two different part okay one is data security or record level security what is this data security data security is basically uh, again the customer who is actually using salesforce they might have thousands of users but which user will be having access to which data is the data security we call data as record in salesforce right so we call this as record level security so record level security is purely for the internal logged in user which user can see which data in the other hand we have something called object level security or admin level security what is this object level security again let's say you have five users not thousand five users inside the org and one first user user number one will be able to create uh, leads inside the system user number two will be definitely be able to create the lead but at the same time he'll be able to let's say delete the lead user number three will be able to only view the lead no create no delete that's basically an object level access so we as an admin have to define okay user a will have read access to lead user b will have read and write access to the lead object user number 3 will have read write and delete access into the uh, lead object so that's basically object level security all right and uh, what is admin level security let's understand this with with an example suppose there are again five users and the fifth user is the um, senior user suppose and the fifth user will be able to um, not only create the lead delete the leads and other things but at the same time the fifth user will be able to create report and dashboard out of the lead data and that's the only user who will have be able to access the report and dashboard part and that's basically an admin level security so admin level security is basically as a logged in user what all you can do in this entire salesforce org right is the admin or org level security so let's say as a logged in user i will have access to only this homely food app how do you define this this is basically your org level access or admin level access okay so these are the two types of security that you will get to see in the uh, salesforce ecosystem right and uh, we will get started with the record level security okay there is another third type of security called field level security which comes under the same uh, section here but let's get started with the record level security and eventually move into the object admin and uh, field level security okay so let's begin <clears throat> to 
to understand the record level security let's just understand an example okay we will talk about a, a real time business example and then we'll try to see how this particular problem statement can be resolved with the record label security okay so the problem statement is this assume that we have uh, four users okay four sales users name is rajesh rishik john and alex for an example these are the sales executive these are the four sales executive you might have like hundreds of sales executive in the real time project but for just to understand the record level security we're assuming that there are only four sales executive in the um, sales force system and uh, these sales force executive uh, i mean sales executive's job is to gather the leads data so rajesh is actually gathering the lead and uh, rajesh's job is to you know onboard the lead into the lead object and whenever rajesh onboard a lead into the lead object what happened eventually rajesh become the uh, owner of that lead and once rajesh become the owner of the lead rajesh has to do the next level of thing like what we have learned in the sales cloud chapter like you know you have to convert the lead lead become account contact opportunity whatever you have discussed in the sales cloud right that's again a sales uh, person job so let's say these four users are nothing but these sales person everybody's job is to onboard the lead and to work with those leads okay now salesforce by default don't restrict anything okay salesforce by default not uh, enforce any security so what happen is rajesh will be able to see the leads onboarded by rishik by john by alex at the same time other users like alex can see the data um, owned by john john can see the data owned by rajesh rishik and alex you know uh, uh, so everybody can see everybody's data by the way what do you mean by everybody's data when i say let's say alex's data it means alex is the owner of the data is the let's say there's a lead and the owner of that lead is suppose rajesh so this is rajesh's data okay like that i, I this is what i'm trying to mean um when i say rajesh's data or alex's data rajesh is the owner of that data okay so uh, by default as there is no security rajesh rishik john and alex everybody can see everybody's data cool now the problem is this suppose john has worked so hard okay and uh, he has gathered few lead and uh, whenever he is trying to reach out to his lead by calling them what he is finding is uh, his lead is telling you know what i have been already contacted by alex right so the leads whatever he has gathered the lead for which he is the on john is the honor what he is finding end of the day is his lead is been contacted by someone else why because there is no restriction everybody can see everybody's data so maybe alex is trying to reach out to the lead um, that has been uh, owned by john and john has raised a complaint john said that john said to the business saying you know what i want my leads to be private to me only so that my leads if i am a owner i should be able to see my leads and nobody else and same complaint came from suppose rajesh rishik and alex okay now this is the problem statement you are the admin okay now the business uh, has came to you you know the product owner from the business side has come to you and what he is telling is hey i want to have this particular feature in my salesforce system where if rajesh is the owner of the lead only rajesh can see the data if rishik is the owner of the lead only rishik can see the data and if alex is the owner of the lead only alex can see the data no one else so the owner only can see his or her own data whatever data that the logged in user own the logged in user will be able to see only that data okay no one else's data that the logged in user will be able to see that's the security that business wants to enforce in the system by the way this is the base level of uh, security we are just talking about and uh, by all meaning right this is the record level security you understand this Ra rajesh is trying to restrict his records his data so that no one else can see or no one else can access his data when i say his data what is this this is basically record it's a record level security 
who can see which record is basically a part of record level security now to solve this problem i'm pretty sure that this problem statement is very clear again i'm repeating the problem statement the problem statement is this right now everybody can see everybody's data what business wants to enforce in the system is this business wants to enforce uh, the security where if alex is the owner of a record then only alex can see the data no one else so all the data will be private to the owner okay this is what the uh, basic level of uh, record level security that business wants now in order to implement this particular security inside salesforce we have something called organization wide default setting this is a baseline or basic uh, settings that is available for each and every object for this example we have picked up lead so we will just uh, mm, remain with the lead object only but this organization wide default is something available for any custom or standard object which we have to make as private by the way to change this uh, the settings right it is just few clicks which takes hardly a couple of seconds but the important part is the concept you know when i take a lot of interviews i find people have like uh, like 3 4 5 2 years of experience they are experienced but when i ask some conceptual questions i don't find that uh, correct answers so uh, configuring any things is is very easy in salesforce you can actually learn this from youtube or many other blogs but things that i'm trying to focus here is the conceptual thing right so you have to be crystal clear with each and every concept that we have right that's the reason why i'm getting i'm just going to give you a lot of business example first and then we will try to uh, fix those business example those problem with the salesforce solution right so i'm going to go to this setup the setup i have something called sharing setting what is that sharing setting remember this uh, this option called sharing setting we as an ad admin have to spend so much of time as part of the security here in this sharing setting okay so if i go here in the sharing setting the first thing that i have is organization wide default what we have learned in the organization wide default this is a setting that is available for every single standard or custom object right if you see lead has a default internal access this is the setting that i was talking about by the way let me edit this page now try to remember the problem statement that we discussed okay private the data will be private to the owner right if you want to have this feature inside salesforce all you have to do as an admin is have to go here in the sharing setting organization wide default and have to make the organization wide default of lead as private that's it the moment you make organization wide default as private i mean the default internal access we'll talk about the external access and this grant access using hierarchy option later but i'm talking about now the internal access all the logged in users are nothing but the internal users and for all the internal users the lead object would be private and that's it you as an admin have to just make the organization wide default of lead as private and save that's it the moment you make this as private the functionality that we have discussed the 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 data privatization that we have discussed i mean the owner will be able to see only his or her own data will be activated right so what you did as an admin you just went to the sharing setting okay and you went to the organization wide default and you change the organization wide default of lead as private if you see here this the organization wide default of lead uh, has not been changed yet to private it is still the old one if i refresh now it will be private by the way this um, change right it takes some time okay because uh, what happened is see this is now private so what happened is let's say you have uh, a lot of data in the lead object right so now the system has to go to each and every record and system has to make every single record as private and that that that, that takes some time 
and that's the reason why i i don't have many record in the lead object maybe we have like few dummy records that's why it, it took like uh, you know 10 15 seconds but you know if your lead object is loaded with like millions of data this change takes some time to reflect and definitely the admin right here i am the admin by the way i would have got an email saying hey your organization wide default of lead has been changed to private the moment it it gets changed right the email will be triggered to the admin saying the organization by default has been changed. 